in this video we are going to discuss modeling of mechanical systems according to the motion of the systems we are going to model the systems we are going to classify these systems into two basic types that are translational mechanical systems and rotational mechanical systems so based on type of motion mechanical systems are classified into these two types one is translational mechanical systems and rotational mechanical systems coming to translational mechanical systems so these systems will move along a line along a straight line so here the basic elements are mass spring and dash pot so that we'll discuss clearly one by one in the next two videos we'll discuss what is translational mechanical systems and rotational one by one so here the basic idea is these systems will move along a line and here the rotational mechanical systems will move along an axis so here the basic elements are in rotational mechanical systems the basic elements of moment of interior of mass torsional spring and dash pot whereas the basic elements here are mass spring and dash pot so both of these systems are having three three individual elements for each so here the list of symbols used in both translational and rotational mechanical systems are so up to here up to here these list of symbols are related to translational mechanical system and from here the symbols are used in rotational mechanical system when you saw x in translational mechanical system when you saw x that is displacement so displacement in meters and v is equal into velocity where v is equal into dx by dt so when you differentiate the displacement with respect to time you are going to get the velocity that is equal into meter per second where a is the acceleration dv by dt or d square x by dt square will be used for acceleration so meter per second square will be the unit of that acceleration f is equal into applied force by newton so here in both mechanical systems we will uh, we'll talk about one thing when we apply a force on any body or mass we are having opposite force when we are opposed by another force by that body so the same point we are going to discuss both in translational and rotational system so here if f is the applied force and calculated in newtons fm is the opposing force by mass as i already told you we are having three basic elements mass spring and a dash pot in translational mechanical system when we apply force f on mass then the opposing force by that mass is m when we apply force on a spring due to the elasticity or potential energy of that spring we are having opposing force that force by that spring is indicated with fb fb is equal to opposing force by elasticity of the spring now coming to fb opposing force by the friction of the dash pot so this is the dash pot symbol here we will get friction and here this is the spring where m is the mass counted in kg and k is the stiffness of spring newton per meter is the unit and b is the viscous friction coefficient newton second per meter now coming to list of symbols used in rotational mechanical system the list of symbols are theta is equal to angular displacement so from here the symbols we are going to use in rotational mechanical system so theta is the angular displacement in radians d theta by dt is the angular velocity in radians per second and t is the applied torque so calculated in newton meter and d square theta by dt square is the angular acceleration so the unit is radians per second square and j is equal into moment of interior so kg meter square per radian b is equal into rotational frictional coefficient so 
why I am giving all these indications means in next two classes I am going to discuss about translational mechanical systems as well as rotational mechanical systems separately. So, when I am considering some systems I am going to consider J, B, K and M, B like this. Whenever you saw these symbols you need to get this into your mind. When I consider K, so that is nothing but stiffness of spring. Whenever you, you are uh, supposed to take this stiffness of spring, then that is better to consider a basic quotient K. So, like this if K in rotational is there, that is equivalent to stiffness of spring. So, here also K is equivalent to stiffness of spring. Here the unit is Newton meter in rotational that is equivalent to Newton meter per radians. So, these are the list of symbols used in both mechanical systems that means translational and uh, rotational mechanical systems. So, generally mechanical systems are classified according to their motion. If they are moving along a line then those are called as translational mechanical systems. If they are moving along an axis then those are said to be rotational mechanical systems. The list of symbols used out here and the basic elements in both mechanical systems are 3, 3 to each. Here the mass, spring and dash spot are the basic elements. Coming to here the moment of interior, torsional spring and dash spot are the elements, basic elements. We will see each and everything from next class onwards related to this mechanical systems.